um, this is quite the uh, Avengers Assemble kind of uh, streaming announcement. ESPN, Fox, and Warner Brothers Discovery joining forces for a combined sports streaming service. Hmm. And what we're basically what we're basically talking is this is going to cover a ton of stuff. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit so you can see that uh, all the properties that are basically going to be covered. But the big ones are going to be like NFL. Um, there's definitely some NBA and uh, MLB, but like March Madness for the NCAAs. And then um, the NFL, obviously, is the biggest of them all. And uh, all sorts of other stuff. And <clears throat> apparently this is also going to mean um, – apparently ESPN plus is going to be folded into this. And um, I mean, as far as uh, a price point at this point, I, I was just, you know, scrolling through uh, my social medias uh, before we went on and I was hearing like 45, maybe $50 a month for this combined streaming service, which sounds steep, but this is a lot of sports streaming content. And apparently this will also cover, the um the linear cable channels that are within uh the uh underneath the Disney and Fox and WBD umbrellas so you'd be getting you know a linear live TNT TBS True TV ESPN all this stuff kind of lumped in under this same thing so it's kind of crazy to see how like the fractured uh streaming uh landscape continues to kind of like it continues to coalesce bit by bit as uh as time goes on is this uh, like we, they just launched the and I think they just launched the pay version of the Bleacher Report expansion for 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 Max slash HBO Max whatever it, it, it is is that getting folded in this as well or is that unclear? I would assume that this would spell the end for Bleacher Report or or BR Live or whatever they're calling it at this point mm -hmm. because I, and another thing they pointed out in this thing too they they're apparently not going to be going with any kind of like existing uh streaming architecture they're going to build this entire service from the ground up and uh I believe they hope yeah it says so um it says so right here fall 2024 that's quite a timeline so I hopefully they've got the ball rolling on this stuff already um but yeah this is quite the um yeah, quite the collection right here. So it'll be interesting to see how this uh, how this plays out and how this is going to affect. Um, who, uh, in, inevitably, you got to think that other networks are now going to join forces as well to to counter this move. This is just like the bigger getting bigger and bigger um, as they go forward. Also, this apparently this is not going to mean the end of like Max or Hulu or uh, or like Disney Plus. Apparently, like those will still exist, but they're probably going to try to do bundling. Uh, offers with those I, I, yeah i'm kind of curious because espn plus is part of that uh, hulu disney bundle mm -hmm. so so i'm wondering if that that is just going to supplant that maybe but if it's going to be that much more expensive you know um so i, I think there's going to be a realignment there that's interesting because you know we're talking about all the mergers and stuff that's how they're trying to compete with each other um the the fact that they're all kind of teaming up like this, something like this but but also like fox like what is fox right now and also kind of hilarious that fox is teaming with the company that bought all the rest of their properties, too. So I mean, it definitely like, makes like, it convenient. I mean, yeah, they did acquire Fox or like 20th Century Fox, but yeah, they're yeah, definitely kind of gobbling the them up. Yeah, not the television, not the sports, not the um, uh, you know, you know, Fox News or anything like that. Like yeah. those are all under you know what the News Corp mm -hmm. banner or something like that, right?